There are strange mixed messages coming out of our economy and politicians at the moment. Not that we should find anything peculiar about that. On one hand, the Reserve Bank's encouraging you to spend with record low interest rates. In some areas, it's working. You can see it with, say, house prices and other areas of spending. So the Reserve Bank is actually trying to rev up our sluggish economy. But while banks pass rate cuts onto the households, they haven't done the same thing for business, which in many cases still pay 8 to 10% for their interest rates, twice as much as home borrowers. So business is cautious about borrowing, investing, and now you can see it even employing people. So in turn, the worry about rising unemployment tempers people's exuberance to buy a house, especially a first home. They're more keen to hang on to their job. The other mixed message is the dollar. The Reserve Bank wants it lower to improve conditions for Australian manufacturers, tourism, operators and also exporters. The same people being whacked by the interest rates. But the same households who benefit from lower interest rates get slugged with higher costs for petrol and household goods as the dollar falls. You see, give it with one hand, take it back with the other. Finally, there's the government itself with more messages of hard cutbacks and word from Social Services Minister Kevin Andrews that pensions and welfare must be cut early Urgently. It all doesn't quite engender the atmosphere to buy a dozen oysters, a lump of fillet steak or a take-out Chinese meal, let alone a new car or a first home, does it? <laughs> right now, it is all about confidence, Lisa and Carl.